Okay. Hi, Flosstube. Hi, Flosstube. It is Thursday, April, April 30th, and we're coming at you with a few things and then our mania plans and bunches of stuff. <laughs> so get ready for some stitchy goodness. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people I've been watching lately have at the beginning of their video said, this is a video where I'm going to talk about cross stitch. So yes, everybody sure says that. that. This is a video about cross stitch. <laughs> <laughs> and not knitting or quilting or any of that because, no, we don't do that. Mom Lena did a little bit of kind of knitting, but <laughs> anyway, <laughs> your blanket um, you make. Yeah. So I think we'll start off with our whips this week. Start off with our whips. So I have um, one whip. I have one whip that I've been working on, so. Yeah, you're doing a one at a time. So I yep. picked this up for a little bit. Okay. And did a little bit of work on it. Not a whole lot. There's the cover page. Ink circles, turtles all the way down. So I am doing all my turtles in a different hand eyes. And so I've been working on this bottom turtle. I got his shell done and started on his legs and head. So that's He's a headless turtle. <laughs> on since you saw it last, it's probably this green part and like a little bit of a shell that wasn't done last time. So not a whole yeah. lot of progress, but a little bit. Cute. <laughs> My whip is Bobbing for Pumpkins by Brenda Gervais with Thy Needle and Thread. And I got a lot of work done on this because Melina and I were at the virtual show me retreat over the weekend. That's how far I am. You got a lot done. I know. Plus I've been continuing to work on it. Well, yeah. Um, since I saw it last time, it looks like you've gotten a lot more done. Yeah, I'm almost done with that second witch's skirt. <sighs> Take forever. <laughs> and then, um, oh yes, and I was also participating in 24 hours of cross stitch that was over. It started at midnight on Friday night and went until 11.59 Eastern time on Sunday. So that helped me get a little more done. My 24 hours was really only 22 hours because the retreat games took up some stitching time, <laughs> which was fine because we enjoyed the games and chatting with everybody and the chat rooms and it was a lot of fun. Had a good time with our virtual retreat. We loved it. <laughs> I'll do so thanks to the retreat I actually got two things finished I finished one of them yesterday but she was mostly done I was beating by the end of the retreat so the first one is this um mermaid from white lion needle art designs and it's this is the chart and so mom and I got this at needlework galleria there was going to be a class but the class ended up getting canceled which was sad for her but worked to our benefit because we wouldn't have been able to attend the class when it was scheduled so we were able to buy, she had some of the kits that you could buy so we ended up buying these kits and so I, I have everything that's on here that I can finish her exactly like this so I got her done so now I just have to do the scary part and do the finishing <laughs> so we'll see when that happens but she's stitched. yeah the, that is the scary part <laughs> And then my second one is Letters from Mermaids, G from Nora Corbett. So if people don't remember, I'm planning on doing all the whole alphabet and I'm gonna frame them all individually. And then I wanna have a wall where they're not, they're just kind of put up, not even necessarily in alphabetical order. So I finished my G, there she is. So pretty. So it's funny because I didn't even realize this was supposed to be an anchor <laughs> until I had it no. stitched. And when on the chart picture, I didn't really put two and two together. <laughs> yeah, well, I can see why. <laughs> yeah, but I was like, this is the first time I've used these giant pony beads on something and they're like huge. Those are huge. <laughs> but, but I guess if it was an anchor, yeah. makes sense. 
So now I have A and G done. So, you know, I'm really far along on my plans for the alphabet here. <laughs> Good job, Mina. <laughs> my finishes, I got this finished at the retreat. Um, it was the first finish of the retreat. It is Barbara Anna Designs Witch Cat. I didn't do this flower or these numbers because I didn't really think it needed it. I added a few more little, uh, whatever these are supposed to be, design stars, whatever you call them, I don't know. Added a few more, changed all, almost all the colors, but full disclosure, I only have 36 stitches to go, which was the grass this grass underneath the witch's feet <laughs> for the retreat so that was why i got my first finish of the retreat <laughs> and i was also working on this stuff for the april acrostic in 24 hours of cross stitch and if it's a facebook group and jen lee of quirks and stitches and her mom cindy are the ones who started with the 24 hours of cross stitch and then they just added like these um, calendars and acrostics and all kinds of stuff. The word for the acrostics was sun and shadow and this was my, I was working on this for, well I guess I wasn't working on that for the, no I worked on bobbing for pumpkins for the acrostic with the and for with thy needle and thread. So I guess I wasn't working on this one for that. You don't but know what you were doing. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I was working on this one, which is Mill Hill Out on a Limb by Debbie Mum Aquabird. And I finished it. Cute. Aqua bird. This is on 14, no. 18 count, 14, no, no. Some kind it's of count Ada. Some count of brown Ada. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what count. 16 count. I wrote it I'd down. like cut the, cut the middle and just say 16. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It is. <laughs> anyway, I got, that was for my in for a new whip was also for the A for aqua bird. It was also for the D for Debbie mom. And that was all that I used the aqua bird for on the acrostic. My other finish was sweet honey by Little Leaf Designs. And this was on 28 Count Berkshire Hive by Fabric Flare. That's cute. And that was for the H for Honey. I think that was all I did for that one. Oh, and Minerva, which I think I showed, I think I showed this the last time, didn't I? And Minerva. Yeah. Well, I didn't bring Minerva, but Minerva was for like all the rest of my letters, except for the W, which was- And you had her finished last time though, right? Yes, yeah. Because I worked on her for a bunch of, for the S, the U, the S, the O, for octopus and sea hag and under the sea. And then this was my W winter wonderland gift tag for winter. Uni miss. So that was my acrostic. I'm planning on doing the May acrostic also, which is hourglass. So you have to have something for each of the letters to tie it in somehow to your stitching, so. 
I'm planning on doing it. Should be, be easy with mania. <laughs> yeah, should be easy with mania. I can tie all kinds of stuff into that. <laughs> so that was uh, it for my finishes. Cool. Um, I have some haul. Do you have a haul? Okay. My haul is I got this in the mail actually today. I just ordered it. Cute. The is it one before. of those ones with the snap on it? Yeah, it's a snapper. Snapper, um, Bent Creek, Snapper, Broom, Witch, and Mousy. And I got this from Tiny Meditations Craft D Stash on Instagram. She still has more things on her D Stash. If anybody's interested, go to Instagram. But in Mom, look at you shopping on Instagram. I know. <laughs> I don't know what I thought. And then I was like, hey, I'll go check it out. And then I saw this little witch and I thought she was cute. So I bought her. And she sent me a floss to go with it. <laughs> so that was fun. That was one. Um, then I ordered from String Theory Needle Arts um, a bunch of floss to go with. Um, night walk down. Night walk down, and then um, my. Arizona garden, um, desert garden sampler, oh, yeah. all these dinky dyes and silks. So she is, she does have a lot of gentle arts. If anyone is interested at string theory needle arts, just go on. She has a lot because um, several places have been out of gentle arts due to the COVID thing. So if you want to go check her out, she's got lots of gentle arts. Probably shouldn't have told anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be stingy. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be stingy. Then from uh, 1884 Stitchery, McKenna, I saw that she had some fabrics on sale. And this is um, the fabric I bought. Which is an opalescent. I don't know if you can see this sparkle. I can't really tell. Well, a Not little bit. Really. It's called Moon Glow. And I think it's 40 count. Oh, Moon Dust. Sorry. Moon Dust opalescent. 40 count. Pretty. And she sent me a extra floss which is fun sugar and i ordered this little chart to prairie schooler <laughs> boo <laughs> that was cute so i got that from her and then from i have two other things i haven't even got yet which is from sassy jacks and also from stony creek they're way behind on order, so I'm waiting for them. But from uh, Fire Poppies, this I got ordered this um, because I was on the Fiber Talk Easter extravaganza, and I went to check her out. So I got this French lilac, 32 count. By picture this plus because I want to do the queen that was, which is a market release from Ink Circles, on this, because color of royalty, purple, yeah. <laughs> and I also got some classic color works from them and one gentle art. That was all she had of my gentle arts I needed. And she's, Sent me a Charleston Chew vanilla, which I have not eaten. <laughs> but I wanted to. So I should be getting some more flosses and some other stuff, but 
I don't know when I'll get it. You know. Shopaholic. Now I did have Stitchy Kindness also, which is from Michelle. She was giving away the death rose that she already stitched, which was a kit. So I don't get any of this stuff because she already used it, but I get the chart, which I love. My Fern Ridge collections. And then she sent me a floss that she thought would go with it. That she said it wasn't as pretty as the silk, but you know, silk, whatever. <laughs> I might find the silks. I don't know. We'll see. And then also on the Fiber Talk Easter extravaganza, I won a thing. So, well, I won that from Michelle too. So, but I won the um, a chart of my choice from Arlene Cohen, works by ABC. So the chart that I picked was the death of Susanna Jane, a headstone reproduction. I just thought it was cool. I liked the little schooly bats and cats and well, I liked that sun. And I just thought it was something fun. I got that. That was all of my haul and all my stitchy kindness, I think. <laughs> so also we have our prize drawings from last, our last time. We only had two people enter for Lemon Tree. So good luck, you got a 50-50 chance of winning. I put your two names, which was Lisa and West Coast Stitcher in this cup. And I will stir them up. Who's going to win? Lisa, you won. Woo Lisa. <laughs> We know you. We'll be getting a hold of you, Lisa. And we will be near your I think I probably already have your address because I think we've mailed you stuff. So I'll probably just mail it. Well, actually, I'll have my husband mail it to you when he goes to work. <laughs> now we had three people enter for green. But since Lisa, you won for that, I'm taking your name out. So now we only have two people, which is Julie. <laughs> Stitchers and Athena. I put your names in there and shake them up. You got a pretty good chance of winning. 50 50, baby. <laughs> Athena, you won. Yay. <laughs> Yay. So I think we have your address too. So Same we thing. will send them all out. And send it on here. Send it on to my husband to mail. And if I get my act together, maybe I'll even have a mail it tomorrow. And since Lisa entered for that too, Athena, you can share it with Lisa when you're done. Since you guys are <laughs> friends. And they also have a floss tube, Stitching with Friends. Go check it out. And you should watch them because it's a good floss tube. Yep. So anyway, that's done with that. So we can talk about our mania. <laughs> Lena, it's your first mania. It is. This is the first time I'm going to participate because I feel like I have only huge projects. And so I'm focusing my mania on starting mostly smaller things so that when I want to have a finish, I can go work on one of these things I started in mania and it will be a quick finish. And then I can get back to working on my big project. That's awesome. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know, Stitch Mania was started in 2015 by some stitchers that got together and decided they were going to do 15 starts, new starts for the year 2015. Now, since it then, it's gone pretty much manic and you can do whatever you want to. 
Lindy Stitches has a group that they're going to be doing Stitch Stitchania. Um, some people do the whole entire month of new starts. Some people do 20 new starts. Some people do one start a week. It, all, it just depends. Whatever you want to do is pretty much open. Last year I did whip mania and only worked on my whips. So, and the year before that I was traveling. So I only took small things, just a few, because I knew I wasn't going to have a whole lot of time to stitch every day. So, but this year I'm doing 20 starts for 2020. And if my husband is picking from my list of numbers, which I have 63 numbers. <laughs> but some of those are crossed uh, out now, right? Well, I filled them back in with oh. different things. <laughs> I filled them back in, so I still have 63 kits and kitted up things that I could start. So he did pick my first one, and what I will be starting on after midnight tonight, because I stay up late, is praiseworthy stitches. Say boo. It's a little scissor bob. So hopefully I can get that done. You can have a start and a finish. That'd be awesome. <laughs> so I have 20 projects. I'm gonna attempt to do the same thing and do 20. Uh we'll see how much I how far I get before I get annoyed because I don't know if this starting a new thing every day is like really where my mind is at, but I'm gonna try it because that's the whole point of being maniac, right? That's right. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna do the same thing. I wrote them all out on a list and so I'm gonna have my husband pick a number every day and that will be the one I start. So that way I don't sit there and like, oh, which one should I do? And it makes it easier for me. So he already picked my number for tomorrow and mine is going to be Lindy Stitches, Turkey, I can't, don't know the actual name of this chart, Shredding Tom. And I got this. And I also at, have that on my list. Um, I got this at Needlework Galleria um, as one of my um, smalls for the, what were those called? The um, Round Robins. Yeah, thank you. I couldn't think of that word. <laughs> I know, I'm like, oh. <laughs> so this is going to be the first one that I start. And this is awesome, it came with the kit and it has everything in there. So I just have to pull it out. Well, I think it maybe didn't have some, I don't know, whatever. It has everything, I think. So it's all in there, I'm gonna start it. And I know I won't finish this because it's small, but it's a bigger small, so. But I'm excited it. for. I love it. And then, yeah, some of the things on my list will probably take me like a couple hours and other things will probably take me like a couple weeks, but, or longer, but I don't care. I'm just starting. And if my husband doesn't pick certain ones, I'm starting them too. So I could possibly have 60 or 23 because I have three things that I want to start. One of them is this whale by Al Forest Embroidery. I love it. And I wanted, wanted to start this for a long time. And I'm going to do it. And then the other one is Night Walk Down. Now that I have all the floss, I feel pretty good about it. Night Walk Down by the Blue Flower. And after you finish that, you're giving it to me. Okay. <laughs> I'm I calling this. I love her. I have her fabric, which is 40 count. Shimmering, no, shrinking violet. You have enough that I could do it on that fabric too? I don't know. It's pretty big. It's bigger than you think. Yeah. But I will start it so we, if you need one or two, you could have it. Yeah, if it's if big enough, it. but it if might not be. Enough. It might not be. 
So we'll see. And then my other thing that I want to start, I already showed you guys, is the queen that was, because this is really only like 57 by 57 or something like that. Yeah, 57 by 57. So I think it won't take that long. No. But I don't think I have all the floss yet because some of the floss I ordered was for this. Well, it could be one of your later starts because you'll probably have it by more toward the end of it. Well, the yeah, if your dad picks it. So you're gonna he may it. not even pick it. But if he doesn't pick it, then I'm going to pick it myself. <laughs> so I'm going to show like it. It everything on my list because I only have 20 and I like not like the 63 crazy mom. Yeah, well, yeah I'm not showing 63 things. <laughs> <laughs> One of mine is Lottie Da Something Wicked because I just like this and it's a smaller thing. that I like that too. And then these are gifts from mom who already finished them and she even cut me a little piece of her rate of paper and put it in there with all her extra flosses. So um, Eye of Newt and the spider web. So those three are on my list. And then my next letter and my mermaids, because I charted out how they fit on the fabric the best. So I'm not going in alphabetical order. I'm going in where they go on my fabric. So the next one is K. Oh, geez. That's pretty. Yeah, I love the colors in her. I wasn't a huge fan of the colors in G, but these ones look a lot prettier. Yeah, those are pretty. And then this little Mill Hill woodland tree. Cute. Mostly beaded. Um, this is one of the bigger ones, but birds of a feather remember me. Oh, I love that one. So I I'm gonna get that one when you're done. Yeah. I don't have I don't have the fabric down here because I keep debating between two different fabrics. One of them I bought that I want to use this 36 count and I don't like stitching on 36 count most of the time because one strand or two strands and but I, so I have to decide. But I'll just pick I'll just make the decision on the day that this gets pulled. Yeah. And then another Mill Hill Autumn Harvest, who's a little witch and she's just all beads. No, oh, I have her in my on my list too. Yep, and we bought these I think at the treadle. Yeah, we did. <laughs> um, and the next one is a restart from a hissy fit that I had before. <laughs> oh, this Christmas ornament by Doreen Jones. Yeah. Hopefully that one works out better this time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the, <laughs> I think it's just called Santa ornament, but she has three different ones of these that you stitch them. They're like, they look like a plus sign. And then when you sew them up, they make this little box. So they're really cute, but we'll see if, uh, I'm going to change tactics because last time I tried to do the whole board outside border first, and that clearly didn't work out for me. So I think I'm just going to stitch like the reindeer head and then do the border around him and then move on to, so it's not quite so. That's a good idea. Hopefully I don't lose it on it again. <laughs> Because last time I threw my fabric across the room, so I was pissed. <laughs> hey, it happens. <laughs> um, well, I guess I got to gather all the crap up for this. So this is what I'm going to start is Halloween rules. I don't have all those charts over here. Down here, I didn't put them in this bag yet. But this is the fabric I'm going to stitch it on. It's the same fabric mom's using. I have the border piece in here because I think you printed that's the freebie border. But I don't is know. That, the other is side. that fabric big, long? Yeah, you just I have just have it all folded up. up. Oh, okay. I was yeah. gonna say. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Meyer, I think. Yeah. Picture this plus Meyer, M I R E. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, somebody was showing that saying they love that fabric. Yours? I think it was I think it was Julie, Kansas City girl in a Colorado world. Yeah. Then this one's one of the bigger ones too, but I love this. And so I am stitching this on 36 count because I bought a yard of it and I think this isn't going to be too difficult to stitch That's on that. That's beautiful. Because it's a lot of black work. This is Rosewood Manor Black Lace Sampler. And so this middle oh. part is done one over one. And a lot of that edging is uh, a little bit of stitching, but mostly black work. So I've never done black work before, so it'll be an adventure. <laughs> 
It'll be pretty. It's not that bad. And then, oh, this one. I know. Wait, this one is in my bag. That was our food. This is other Mill Hill um, Autumn Harvest IV, <laughs> whatever that is. It's another witch. And I think it's just called witch. Isn't it? Autumn Harvest IV. I know, but down there in that little yellow thing. Oh, says Wanda Witch. I didn't realize that was the name of them. <laughs> oh, that's the one I made for Cheryl McKinney when I met with her. No, no, hers was different. Never mind. I think hers was Wendy Witch. Yeah, but we got these at, that's another one from. Yeah, those are the trail. Yeah, I probably have that in my stash too, or I might have already done it. I don't know. And then this um, Halloween Chronicles from Chair Stitches, that this kit has all the finishing stuff in it too. Well, that's also on my list. Yeah, we I think bought we bought the, these. The inspired needle. So. Yep. So that should be a quick stitch. Then this other one is hands-on design ivy thread, and I have all the stuff in there as a kit because this was another thing I got at the Round Robin from Galleria, and I really like this, so I wanted to stitch on that one. Then this Merry Christmas by Brenda Gervais. I'm gonna start this because I said to mom, I don't know why I bought this as a kit when I bought it, but I did buy it and I spent a lot of money on it. So I'm freaking making it. So I put it on the mania list. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this Mill Hill is the little Easter bunny in a basket. Okay. Oh, and then Bennett Creek, Egg of Eggs. Oh, I love that one. My last one is oh, that's my second to last. This is Sue Hillis from the Round Robin at Needlework Galleria, but this little pin cushion and it came with everything you need to finish it and the hoop that's and everything. Cute. So I'm gonna do this as one of them too. That's cute. Yeah. So I really like that. She came like this kit is amazing. She oh, wow. all the floss and she stained the hoop and I mean everything is in there. And the wow. batting and stuff you need. So once I get these awesome. done, I'm going to have a lot of complicated finishing to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are always fun. My last one is, I don't have it printed out yet, because I was going to try to stitch it from my iPad, is Satsuma Street, um, Pretty Little Hawaii. I'm going to try to pull it up real quick. Where is it? There it is. So there's, that's the chart. I love that one. So pretty. So those are my 20 projects for Mania. Awesome. You know, kind of crazy just thinking about starting all these things. And I clearly, I don't have project enough project bags for all these, so. <laughs> I don't know if I have enough project for bags for 20 things, but I have a lot of them, so I'm not real worried about it. Hopefully, like this, I maybe can finish it all, so I don't need a project bag. I'm pretty slow, so we'll see. <laughs> we'll see if I can finish it. That one's pretty small, so maybe that one. It's pretty small, so I hopefully I can finish it. That's you my goal. If you don't make a big mistake and have to rip a bunch out, you probably could. Well, if I start on it tonight after midnight and then work on it to like 1 30 or 2 which is what my normal time it's about 1 30. then i usually start stitching in the evening again and like seven to whenever so seven to midnight so yeah should be good and then uh some of our retreat people are talking about getting together and stitching virtually again so if they do that like in the afternoon i'll just work on it so there you go that'd be good yeah <laughs> so speaking of the retreat it was oh so much fun i can't like i was kind of excited but also a little bit apprehensive about how I was going to do with it being like on a video call all the whole time and like I thought 
there's no way I'm going to be into this. Like I'll probably do it for like an hour or two a day and then I'm going to be like, I'm done. But actually it was a lot of fun. <laughs> It and was I was surprised my higher tolerance for the video calls because I really just was like, this is going to be like being on a conference call at work all day and I'm going to be like, get me out of here. But it wasn't like that to me at all. So Yeah. Well, they had a lot of games. We played um, bingo every day. And then we also did like a stash dive game every day. So you had to pick a room in your house to go in and then you could, um, they had a list of like 20 different things that you had to find. And then they also had a team game one evening that was a um, scavenger hunt, which you could go online and find things too. <laughs> and that one, we tied with another team. That Our the team, team tied with another team. The team that we tied with is, is uh, Stitching with Friends. So they, if you yeah. watch their video, they talk about this too. Yeah, and that they were funny because the last thing, the tiebreaker was that we had to find a snail on a chart by Shakespeare's peddler, which is kitten stitcher. And so we're all like frantically searching online and like, you know, you have the she has huge samplers. So we're just like trying to see like where the snail is. Could it be this little brown blob over here? or not so yeah it was pretty funny <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun but i will say i don't know that mom thought it was fun during it until it was over because she was getting stressed out about having to search on things on google and get the pictures and post them and <laughs> i'm not that good with technology and they're like you can put the links and then go put it on this like oh i don't know how to be doing searching on my computer and then trying to link stuff to a different Oh, you should uh, no. search it on your phone because I told you how to screenshot stuff before and then you could post it from your phone. I know. I don't remember. Well, I did it. I just searched in my floss for several things because you had to find a floss that was um, a rhyme, a floss that was a verb, a floss that was a season, or some of the the ones and then I was really mad afterwards that I was like you know I was I pulled the spring green for a season and then right behind it was stepping stone stepping that's a verb <laughs> I was like I, <laughs> I didn't even you know I don't yeah. know but funny well, it was like, you know, you had to find all this crazy stuff and it was like, you had to do it. It was like a little over half an hour. We had to find it. So right. it was like, ah! that, how many, how many things were on that list? Like 60 or something? 60. There were a lot of things. So, it, and then nobody could find the snail and it ended up being in moon, Moonlit Garden or Night Spring Garden. garden. Some, some, some it was garden. one of the ones that Teresa design designed and not a, a reproduction sampler or whatever but her right. own design and it was a smaller one and then the snail was like up on the this little bitty snail so yeah nobody nobody knew that but beth that was at our retreat ended up finding the snail so now they named the snail beth and they're she went to go buy the chart and then she's going to pass along and they're going to I'll stitch the snail and then underneath it type a uh, right snail because <laughs> they're the ones that found the snail so it'll be fun. Well they talked about doing uh um as finding the snail and then doing snailed it and then putting show me retreat 2020 yeah. and I was thinking like I would totally make that. This is I the one do. that has the snail that we finally found magic garden sampler right it's it's toast, above the, the snail it's above is right the black there. chicken bird <laughs> yeah i can't get it to zoom no, that was the problem we couldn't get you know when you're looking on your things you can't get stuff to zoom in close enough to see that it's actually a snail because <laughs> i think i even looked at that stinking chart and didn't see this well in it. it would be easy to miss because uh, too when you're like oh there's so many i know and you're trying to look really fast 
because the first person that found it won, so it was funny. We had fun. It was fun. Uh, we and then we were always talking about snailing, snailed yeah. it, the whole, and snails the whole rest of the think time. So it was pretty funny. And I had made some needle minders with shrinky dinks that said snailed it because my sister had bought a, one of those little pins that looked like a pin, but she made it into a needle minder that said snailed it. And it was one of those pins like, oh, you know. Um, night owl that say have the owl and then it says night and then it yeah. has an owl. But she had a picture of a snail and it said snailed it. And so I made some with shrinky dinks with that saying on it because I feel like that's about how I get things done is snailed it. <laughs> Yeah, well, that was fun. Anyway, it was we cool. Had they all, we also played bingo, so that was fun. And I won yeah. bingo twice. So um, for the bingo prize, it was a book sleeve from Love and More Studio. So I got to pick out two of those, and then they also benefited because I went on their website and started looking at all the other ones, and then ordered two mermaid ones too. So. And I won the stash dive once. So and I won the Huckleberry Farm. Um, by the Blue Flower release from Market this year. So I won that chart. So they're going to be sending that to me. And I also won Pajama Queen. <laughs> I, I wore say, my elf pajamas and my elf slippers. <laughs> I was going to say, introducing the Pajama Queen. <laughs> <laughs> so that was fun. We had a competition and there were lots of cool pajamas, I'm telling you. I'm surprised yeah. I won because everybody had lots of cool pajamas. <laughs> but it was a good time. I like we had fun. a ton of fun and so I'm excited to go to the like in person one in November if that is able to happen and get to see everybody. Yeah, that would be fun. I hope it can happen. We shall see. But we also filmed us opening up our retreat in a box, which I have mine right here, retreat in a box. So if you haven't seen retreat. yours, because some people haven't got theirs, now would be a time to not watch it, because if mom's going to show well, yeah. it, I'm not going to show it, but because we filmed a separate thing, and we're either going, going to attach it to this video at the end or... Um, release it as a separate video. But if like Chloe, I know, and Felicity haven't gotten theirs because they're in Australia. So if they don't want to know, then stop watching. <laughs> the only other thing I have to talk about is I did watch two new people's floss tubes. And one of them is Chloe, Miss Chloe S dash W. And she is from Australia, as we said. She's working on this Gigongo Pokemon, what's that called, World Pokemon World, or I don't even know, but it's huge, it's big. And it's a hate, I think, or something, I don't know. Anyway, it's huge. And she's almost done. She only has one little bitty corner still to go, which is probably like 20 pages, but <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's awesome, it's almost done. I have, impressed and then my other person that i started watching is anastasia neko n-e-k-o she is from russia she's 26 i think um she's living in i think she said japan but then at one point she said china so i'm not sure she's either in japan or china and she was starting out talking about how she got into stitching and all of the stuff. She has done a bazillion things, a lot of bird things, a lot of awesome stuff, a lot of things from Russian designers. And she went in a lot of stitch alongs. Her first video was like over an hour. Then she had part two, which is probably also over now. I think she already has like four or five videos. <laughs> And she just started doing them. So I haven't even watched the second one because I'm so far behind on philosophy, but I haven't had time to get to her second one, which I really want to watch. But people keep cranking out these videos and I just keep not having enough time to watch them all. 
I watched some yesterday because Mike was at work really late. So I watched Stitching with Friends and then I watched The Pattern Queens. Laura and Keisha, is that the name of theirs? Yep. Yes. And then I watched Jessie Marie Does Stuff, her mania video. Uh, I watched somebody else too the other day, but I can't think of who, and it was new, but I can't think of who it was. But hey, I usually am like watching videos from like uh, a long time ago because I'm one of those people that watches like from the beginning. So I think I'm like not even to mania two years ago yet. So I watched some actually newly released ones. So, and I commented, I think, on most of the ones I watched. So, well, also, I I guess she's not really new, but she just came back like a month or two ago as Little Yellow House Crafts, mm -hmm. Nell, and she she started doing videos again. So she has a lot of cool videos. Too. Yeah, I like her, but I'm watching her when she was still pregnant. Yeah, she's already from a long time ago. So. <laughs> I did see one of hers recently too, that, but it was old. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I I watch everybody, so I mean, like, I try to watch everybody. So I don't have a lot of time. I only have until like from eleven something at night until two o'clock in the morning to watch floss tube. So if people have hour long videos I don't get very many watched. Yep. But I have my old standby of people that I always have to watch. So sorry that they get watched. <laughs> <laughs> don't apologize. Every channel is not for everybody and that uh, you That's like to like. I mean I still like to watch people even though they don't stitch the same things as I do because I kind of like weird stuff that most people don't ever show on their videos because I don't do samplers really and I stitch a lot of stuff Mill Hill things and that kind of stuff but I still like to watch people who stitch samplers like I watch Lisa Kindred Stitcher and that she pretty much stitches a ton of samplers mm -hmm. but I, I just like to listen to her and I like watching her and I like seeing her things because I can appreciate their beauty so I don't know she's fun to watch she's her mania is really going to be mania because she's planning on doing 31 patriotic pretty much samplers i think or anything patriotic that she has in her stash and then she said she wanted to continue it into june and do 31 Dang. 31 more that's a lot. So we'll, we'll see what she does. That's kind of fun to see. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, well watching Julie, Colorado girl, or Kansas City girl in the Colorado world, and she's, I don't know, I can't remember what her mania plans were, but she has a lot of things she's doing. So she said she would watch anybody's mania videos because she likes them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was going to comment on her that we might have one, but then my computer froze and I couldn't do it. So. Oh. oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I think that's all we have. So thank you so much for watching. And yep. subscribe, like, whatever you want to do. Um, <laughs> congratulations to our winners. <laughs> yep. Woo! <laughs> So we will see everybody sometime during Mania, probably. Probably in the next couple of weeks. <laughs> yep. Talk all right. See y'all later. Bye. Bye.